at six. After 65 years, the Carolina School of Broadcasting has stopped enrolling students and will turn off the lights for good. The challenges of a pandemic are a big part of the reason for the end of the beginning of so many careers. WCNC Charlotte's Mike Hansen learned the legacy will carry on in the Queen City even after the building has been sold. The skills you will learn, the experience you will get, and the connections you will make at Carolina School of Broadcasting will open the doors to the career you the want. The Carolina School of Broadcasting has now signed off. The website today reads, after decades of teaching, the school is no longer enrolling students. Sad because it's needed. Travis Hancock is the morning co-host of the Mac Attack on WFNZ Sports Radio. Travis is a success story. It, it, I, I'm not 17 years in. To radio hosting without it. In March of 2020, like everything else, the school locked down and went virtual. You know, how is this going to work? That's Brian Baltashevitz, the former director of instruction at the school. It was his job to make sure the students had what they needed. And so the challenge then became, how do you offer a, a, a hands-on curriculum when the students can't actually put their hands on anything? Graduated students will now need to call Raleigh for their transcripts and copies of certifications. When the pandemic hit, Ira, we really didn't have that option of going virtual. P. Grigsby is a broadcast instructor at Blue Springs High School in Blue Springs, Missouri. From local high schools. The high school provides a student-run broadcast program still operating today. Welcome back. Grigsby says it would be nearly impossible to teach broadcasting skills virtually. Think about it, I mean, if, if I'm teaching a story structure of, of writing uh, where they also learn to shoot, it becomes a, a hands-on class. I think I'll speak for a lot of people that I know that went there that we thank you for the chance. A beloved school now gone. Another reminder of the challenges of the past few years. Mike Hansen, WCNC Charlotte.